G'day YouTube. Welcome to another random clock bench video. Today I'm playing Avatar Fronters of Pandora on my RX 590 as you can see here. Just up the power limit to 50% to 50 and the process I'm using is the 4790K which is currently running at 4.8 gigahertz, nice little overclock there. Temps are nice and cool. Alright, we're going to be having a look at enabling the frame generation feature on this game. It's on the older graphics cards, it's it seems to be it's not you can't click it, it's not able to be used when you have the FXR 3 enabled I feel this should be enabled so we'll, we'll have a look at forcing this on the settings we're running at today are performance mode scaling mode fixed vsync is on I mean it's an old graphics card we're not going to be pumping out some huge frames and the graphics quality is set to medium Motion blur is definitely going to be off because I don't like it. And I mean, we're not running at the lowest graphical setting here. And we're currently, let's reset our counter. We're currently sitting at around 30, in between 30 and 30, 35, 30 to 33 frames a second. with at 1080p and medium settings that was actually set to medium all right so let's get out of this game quit that ensure you close afterburner you don't want it messing with your frame generator All right, open up my computer. We're going to go to Documents, My Games, AFOP, and the graphics settings here. And we are going to scroll down to the video menu, and under that, the frame generation. Let's change that to true. Save that. Close that. And let's run our game again. Just make sure Afterburner is not open when you rerun the game, or it will likely crash, which happened to me a few times. And once we get back into the game, we can open Afterburner, but only once the game's you're actually back in the game. Give that a second to load. All right, here we go. Immediately, I can feel how much smoother that is. I'm pretty sure you guys can see it too. Let's have a look at our settings. Haven't changed. Video, 1080p, but frame gen is now on performance mode and our graphical settings are still at medium and then he went to custom because I turned motion blur off so everything on medium 1080p native in windowed mode obviously let's just run back over here where we were before and then we'll open up afterburner and have a look at what frames that we're getting what frames we're getting now Yeah, I can feel that so much better. Well, let's open up after burner. Mm. 
And there we go. We've almost doubled our frames. And our frame time has gone way down too. Frame time has gone way down. It's no longer spiking when you turn around. Let's reset our averages. You know what? I think we can even change the graphics settings to high. With the frame gen on. High. Alright, didn't like high guys. I don't think we should go to high. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Have fun with that. I'll catch it. Like and, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.